Hi friends, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make the sales invoice calculation. So okay, let's run the program again. Here, uh, okay, there will be the products. Product has various products have. Okay, Dell computer, notebook, digital camera, pen drive and sofa set. Okay. So there will be the categories. Computer, cameras, electronics and furniture. Okay. If you have searched, select the right category and product, then only the unit price and discount and total will be calculated. So let me see. Dell computer, it is a category called computer. Click calculate. The unit price will be 65,000. 10% discount will be calculated. This is the total. Okay. So if it is calculate the notebook, it is a co computer category. Here it will be calculated. Okay. It is calculate the discount right so very simple way we have to write uh, so here we have a discount for five ten percentage right calculate okay not not book right so ten percent dot calculated right so okay sorry the don't book discount will be five right okay right the notebook we have provide the five percent discount so this is a category of computer, 5% discount. Uh, we will provide the discount of digital computer, 10%. So here the cameras. If you select the camera category and computer, if you, are, you, if you might be not selected the category here, it default as computer. Here choose the right product. So here, product, electronics. Sorry, it's, it's a category of cameras. Calculate, it's calculated. OK. After that, it calculate the pen drive. It is a electronics. It will calculate the discount price, and you can get it, right? So it's three percent discount. After that, sofa set. It is a furniture. It is a twenty-five percent discount. You can see here the price. Okay, very simple. So how to do the system step by step? We'll study. So first, go to the new project, Java application. Click next. Free stack create main class. You have to uncheck it. Sales invoice right so here select right click new jframe form sales invoice right simple you have to drag a little bit bigger so here what I'm going to do is drag the label this label I am now to name it as sales invoice. Click on this one, right click properties, select here, with bold, 36 characters, right click, foreground color as red. Perfect. After that, I am going to drag one panel. This one right click properties, border, sub bevel border. After that, we have a products and all the things we have to. Here we have product. Properties, bold, 24. Okay, same thing, control C, copy, control V, basically this one should be the category. Control C, copy, control V, basically this one should be the unit price. Control C, copy, control V, basically this one should be the Discount Do it to paste here. This one should be there. Total. Now here what, what I am going to do is you have to drag the one 
cover box right click properties bolt 14 characters you have to enter the values so you have to type one by one so i have already here yeah, i have to type it so no need to write down it same thing copy is there. i just copy it paste it over here you 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 just click on this and you have to type one by one so i just select all control v to paste down paste paste it down on this text click ok click close it perfect the same this one i have to name it as this is a combo box so you name it as cbo product you have to give the appropriate name for that so that you have to easily under, uh, understand for it understand for that okay so control c to copy control v to paste here this one so this one should be to change the thing as this category so you have to click on this one copy this one go here click down select all control v here select the category all the categories you have to change the categories right so here you have to change the name it as cbo category the name is must when you do the validation part so the same thing control c to copy control v to paste below this one we have to change the color as so we can identify the price easily okay this one should be name lbl u price control c to copy control v to paste here this one could should be lbl discount this this one should be this one we have to change the text as discount this one should total this one should be lbl total Tot. perfect now what i am going to do is here i am going to calculate the uh, we need one button uh, get the button over here and drag it down over here right button calculate button name is which name is calculate okay so you have to put the button over here right click properties click on this one bold 24 you have to change the color here as blue perfect right now select this one right click properties code generate center hit ok so here go to the scores control f ui design change this one as a metal so if it is click run the project you will be see the output simple output here very simple okay now let me do the validation part okay very simple so first validation i will be write it down over here so first what i am going to say i am going to decline two variables double uh, price double sum after that if let's look at this one cbo product this combo box dot get selected item dot equals this one if it is dell computer so here select this one dell laptop if it is a dell laptop you have to put it here and you have to choose a category okay we choose a category what's the name this combo cbo category so this is name right click change variable name 
to get them dot get selected item dot equals categories computers computers for the computers that do the calculation part over here so here first you have to price your declare as 65000 you have to we have here we have a uh, change the name LBL U price okay so you will be type U price here this one dot set x price string value of string dot value of price this price should be displayed here after that we have to calculate the discount and all so discount you have to double you have to discount get them discount equal you have to provide 10 percent discount so price into 10 percent discount discount will be placed into here here click on this one here the discount after that you have to try the sum equal price minus discount so here we start LBL dot sum now let's check whether it's working fine or not the user type this one here it's working perfectly well. the same thing you have to do the repairing stuff as well so the same code here we have type after that we have else if we have to second one so second one is the second one notebook the same thing notebook after the camera pen drive we have to check likewise what i did for first one okay after that the second one should be there you are starting from the camera electronics and furniture okay you have to set the, all the stuff you are using the else if part so you have to just copy down paste it over here so check it down you just check it, it okay if it is it's else, else if else if else if else if if it is not you are selected the you are selected different products i will be explain it dell computer uh, and category you are selected as electronics or furniture it will be display the error message as choose the right product this is a message will display if you are not choose the right product okay if you are uh, the example pen drive computers choose right products it's the electronics okay thank you for watching if you have any doubt you can ask me anytime thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching